And the best way of handling it, don't react to it. Don't acknowledge it. Don't let them know they got to you. Outdo the opponent and you'll win. If you can do something and achieve some form of success, in spite of what they said about you, you made them look bad. It's like someone voting for a bad politician. And they tell you how good the guy is. And all the speeches, look at the performance. It's not there. So actions speak for itself. Words don't mean anything if the action behind it's not there. Is that correct? Yes. And again, that's a great strategy, we know that what, what tends to happen with these things is that the child who's being bullied responds and once that child responds, this is what happens, they take the response and now they start to send it out to everybody. So now what what, what might have uh, kind of diminished becomes a, has a whole second life when the child starts fighting back, sending something back um, with these kids. In terms of its prevalence, the cyberbullying, I was reading some surveys, 10% of adolescents report having embarrassing or, or damaging photos that were taken of them without permission, without their knowledge, and it starts showing up among the peer groups and such. 50% of teens admit that they themselves have cyberbullied someone, and 50% of teens admit that they've been cyberbullied. Now, again, that doesn't mean there are two distinct classes. Some kids do both and have been and been both ends of it. One-third of teens, and this I thought was pretty amazing, one-third of teens report receiving online cyber threats, and what's really disturbing is 20% of teens admit they've posted or sent nude or sexually suggested photos of themselves. And of course, what happens in turn with these photos is they get passed on and they have develop a life of their own and they can't get these photos back. Remember, permanent. Yes. It's not part-time. It's there forever. Just recently, there's a uh, an app they have that the kids thought that was designed so that you could send a photo to someone and that within, say, 10 seconds of when that photo appeared in their phone or when it was opened up, it would suddenly evaporate, disappear. Well, there was a... Some hackers got into that program, and so as a result, you can't trust these things. It may have been true when they started the app that you could, that it would work, but what happened after a while they realized is that hackers got in, and those fo you thought the photo was disappearing, and it kept showing up.